Every day, scientists make new discoveries that help us to better understand the world around us. Sometimes these discoveries force us to question what we thought we knew about the universe. It has been a whirlwind of a year for science, with new discoveries and insights being published on a daily basis. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three incredible discoveries by the scientific community. Scientists discover a multi-planet system just 33 light-years away. Astronomical discoveries tend to be so fascinating because they happen far away, in places that seem so intangible, which adds to their mystery. 33 light-years away, or about 10 parsecs, astronomers from MIT have discovered a new mysterious multi-planet system. This system is one of the closest multi-planet systems to our own in the Milky Way galaxy. Multi-planet systems are not created equal, as this newly discovered galactic neighborhood is quite different from what we have. In this system lies a cool M dwarf star named HD 260655 that astronomers think hosts at least two planets that are similar in size to our Earth. Unlike Earth, astronomers believe these planets are not home to any life forms. The temperatures on these planets are too high to host any liquid water. Despite the fact that scientists do not believe these planets contain any life, it's still a fascinating find. Scientists will be able to look at the properties of the planets to determine what levels of atmosphere they may have, and the closeness of the system and the brightness of its star make this task easier. According to Michelle Kunamoto of MIT's Kavli Institute for Astrophysics and Space Research and one of the study's lead scientists, these planets ignite many questions the team want answers to. She questions, is there a volatile rich atmosphere around these planets? And are there signs of water or carbon-based species? These planets are fantastic test beds for those explorations. Space exploration is far from an easy endeavor, but with constantly advancing technology that collects new data, investigating faraway planets and planetary systems has become more achievable in recent years. This planetary system was identified by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, a mission led by MIT to observe the closest, brightest stars and find dips in light that may indicate a planet. This is precisely what occurred in the discovery of this new planetary system. Michelle Kunamoto was monitoring incoming data from the satellite mission and noticed two dips in light from HD 260655. While the process of confirming TESS objects of interest can sometimes take years, archival data helped to speed up this timeline. The team located data from the high-resolution Eschel spectrometer in Hawaii as well as from CAR means, an instrument that is part of the Cala Alto Observatory in Spain. Using the archival data, as well as Kunamoto's recent observations, the team was able to conclude that the TOIs were in fact planets. Meteoroid has hit the James Webb Telescope with all the new developments occurring in the world of astronomy, there are sure to be setbacks, however small they might be. Recently, the James Webb Telescope was damaged by a micrometeoroid that has caused noticeable effects on the instrument's data, although not enough to limit the mission's goals. The telescope's predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, has been growing old for some time, having been launched more than 30 years ago. James Webb was launched in December of 2021 with the purpose of succeeding Hubble. Despite the recent mishap, NASA claims that James Webb's first images due to be released on the 12th of July will not be affected. Analysis of the accident showed that a mirror segment called C3 was struck between the 23rd and 25th of May. C3 is part of the gold tiles that make up the telescope's primary reflector. According to NASA, the accident caused a dimple in C3 as, while the telescope was only hit by a small micrometeoroid, the speed at which objects move in space means that even tiny objects can cause fairly significant damage. In the six months since James Webb was launched, the telescope had already been hit five times, 
although this most recent blow was the largest. While the Hubble telescope's mirrors were guarded by a tubular baffle, James Webb has an open design, making it more susceptible to these types of mishaps. The designers of this spacecraft were not unaware of the possibility that James Webb would be hit by space objects. According to Paul Geithner, a NASA project manager, the team always knew that Webb would have to weather the space environment, which includes harsh ultraviolet light and charged particles from the sun, cosmic rays from exotic sources in the galaxy, and occasional strikes by micrometeoroids within our solar system. Scientists designed James Webb with its optical, electrical, mechanical and thermal performance in mind, ensuring it could perform many missions after numerous years in space, just like its predecessor. There continues to be high hopes for James Webb, as scientists hope to use the telescope to capture the first stars from more than 13.5 billion years ago. They also intend to use the telescope to locate planets that may be habitable. Luckily, this minor setback will not inhibit these ambitious plans. Incredible new maps of asteroid psyche Astronomers have created the most accurate map of the surface of the asteroid 16 Psyche. This asteroid has been the subject of much interest in the scientific community due to the fact that many believe it to offer information into the origin of the planets in our solar system. Scientists believe that the asteroid is actually the metallic core of a protoplanet, having been exposed when its crust was peeled away by a collision with another space object. Recently, scientists have concluded that Psyche most likely consists of both metals and silicates, as the mass and density calculations of the asteroid do not support the idea that it is completely metallic. Since the asteroid is thought to have formed in the early days of our solar system, there is understandably a lot of uncertainty as to what it originated from. The scientific community is finally getting more answers as the Journal of Geophysical Research Planets has published a map created by researchers using observations from Chilean ground telescopes as well as advanced simulations. The map indicates that there are massive metal-rich sections of the asteroid as well as a depression that may be a sand-filled crater. If the map is accurate, these observations would mean that Psyche has extraordinarily diverse features. For example, the rocky portions are similar to Earth's, while the craters filled with metallic debris indicate that the asteroid was home to metallic lava eruptions and experienced a cooling of its core. These observations make Psyche an excellent candidate for a space mission. As stated by Simone Markey, an investigator on the NASA Psyche mission, one of the primary goals of the Psyche mission is to study the composition of the asteroid surface using its gamma rays and neutron spectrometer and a color imager. So the possible presence of compositional heterogeneities is something that the Psyche science team is eager to study more. The universe is a vast and mysterious place full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Every new scientific discovery seems only to raise more questions about the world around us with each technological advancement, we come one step closer to understanding the universe and our place in it. But what do you make of these scientific discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.